In English, young men say, and who is an example. In poetry, we say, we listen, we watch, we absorb the words of those we admire. Their truth become our truths, their desire, our own desire. Well, what if we pause and ask, is this really what I need? Are these cars and wives and wealth just illusions that mislead? The truth it hides in layers deep, not in others, but in you. Filter out the noise and hype to seek what's genuine and true. For in the end, what matters most is not what others say what's right, but what you find when you look within your own truth, your passion bright. So question, seek, and dare to be the one who thinks and stands alone. For only then you can be free, no longer an Andrew clone. I was indoctrinated by Andrew and that's not his fault, that's on me. I believed everything he said, maybe not at first, but eventually. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people, and I started making videos on YouTube since 2012. And I found that these things don't matter to me anymore. What I care about now is the truth. And this is the truth. I've been indoctrinated by Andrew Tate, and the truth is that 99% of people who watch him are falling for the same trap. And it's not even about him. Whoever it is, Jordan Peterson, Iman Gatsi, Kylie Jenner, whoever it is, it doesn't matter. Everyone is basically listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos, reading books without a filter. What kind of filter, you may ask? Well, I haven't thought about it. Maybe I would call it a filter of truth. Because do you really want four wives, 27 cars, or even one supercar? Do you want a big mansion or expensive watch? I think you do. I did. But do we know why? Do we know why we want these? I mean, what is really happening around the moment when you first saw someone else? Maybe it was Andrew, probably not. Someone else with a lot of cars, expensive house, whatever it is. Because before you didn't want it, because you didn't know, you've never saw it. But then after seeing it on YouTube or maybe in real life, then you want it. Then you start to desire it. Is it the idea that getting those things, that one Lamborghini or car, is it the idea that that will give you what you look for? Which could be a happy feeling or a feeling of importance, a better feeling. You just don't know what, but you expect it will make you feel better. It could be that that is the reason why you want it, just for the feeling. And it could be many feelings, also the feeling of status, right? People now want maybe take picture with you or with the car. So the moment when you see that, that you see Andrew with all his cars, that there's an image created here, where you see yourself having that and that you imagine yourself in his position because you know it is possible. Some people may feel like it's way more possible than others, but to everyone they know it is possible for them. So they can imagine themselves being in that position. It seems also like that we have a maybe weak point inside of us. It seems like there is that filter that I was talking about that I will explain in a little bit. It seems like that filter is even less. I mean, there's always a filter when we're listening to people, right? Even when you're listening to this, it seems like that filter is dropped even lower when we are watching a famous person or a rich person or a person that has something we think we want. And this is why I was indoctrinated by Andrew. He had things that I wanted. Cars, the house, the Rolex, blah, blah, blah. More so, he probably had the status especially amongst men, that made me listen even more so without a filter. Just basically accepting. So not just listening. I mean, you can listen to him or anyone, but I was listening, trying to learn. And I started to adopt his beliefs. And this is really dangerous. Exposure is extremely powerful. What is exposure? Well, I'm sure you've heard of the quote, you become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. It even reminds me of a quote from Rousselet, where he's talking about the water becoming the cup. And to best understand what I mean with exposure is just look at your own life. That is the best way to really see this for yourself. I don't know you, but who did you spend a lot of time with the last years? What do they do? And did you start doing that as well? What did they not do? And did you stop doing that or also not do that? How did they talk? What kind of words did they use? Maybe you use those words as well. Are they religious? And maybe you weren't and you started to look into religion. Do they have a Netflix subscription? And now you do as well. I mean, I can continue, but it's virtually everyone is becoming the same as the people and things they expose themselves to. Because how can you not, if you do not live continuously with a filter? So what is this filter that I'm talking about? It's difficult to describe, but I will try my best. It's not a filter of good or bad. So it's not what I did before, and many people do, listening to someone while asking yourself, oh, is this good or bad? I mean, you don't do this consciously. This happens subconsciously. You maybe see Andrew talking about this. You think, oh, is this good for me? Should I do this as well? Increases my testosterone, blah, blah, blah. You start to research it. But this is not what I'm talking about. It's not from a filter of good or bad. Maybe the central question is, 
what is the truth when you are listening to someone that that question is top of mind and when i started to listen and watch through this filter i mean it's crazy how little stuff is true and this automatically i, st I stopped watching a lot of things a lot of people because there's so much untrue even this while you're watching this you're listening to this without probably a filter maybe a higher level of filter because i've only done four million dollars in revenue i'm not andrew T i'm not whoever you aspire to be but still if you watch this anyone for a long enough time frame without a decent filter at least subconsciously you will start to believe the things they start to become you this is absolutely true just look at your own life so maybe this is the best cure for a youtube addiction tiktok addiction social media addiction because there is very very few people left to listen to i mean there's absolute truths people speak there's a lot of truths to find online whether it's in books or in podcasts or videos some may have a higher density of truths within their book or within their 15 minute youtube video and some might have nothing of truth to say but there's virtually no one, well very few people who are just seeing life through this lens. Therefore they may say something that is absolutely true, but it doesn't matter because a lot of stuff they say isn't true either. So it's really up to the individual, up to you to listen with this filter. And it's very subtle. These things happen very subtle. And with these things, I mean the lies, the illusions, sometimes they're very obvious but most of the times they what i like to compare it to is a crocodile and a snake and it is the snake and with snake i don't mean bad i mean it has a bad association the word itself try to listen without all of this conditioning so andrew in this example is the snake and the crocodile in front of you is the obvious lie you see it it's easy to defend yourself against this crocodile. It's in front of you. They're not that fast. You can run away. You see it coming. But how about the snake next to you? Camouflaged in the bushes. You don't see it. It's next to you. And it is extremely dangerous. And this is everywhere. These are the subtle things. These are the implications in every sentence almost of people. Of Andrew. This is not directly saying four wives is good. This is implying it is good. This is not saying you should practice martial arts. This is implying through even body language already that it is good for you. And could it be that virtually everything you're doing in your life, you are doing because you think it is good for you? Now, why is this bad? I'm not saying this is bad. I'm actually saying the opposite. Can you ask a different question? Not what is good or what is bad for you. What is the truth? I know this sounds vague to people who are new to this, who are new to my channel. But this may be the only thing in life there is, the truth. And don't believe me, just ask yourself if it's worth living a life, working hard so that you can get things, buy things that you think are good for you, only to find out that when you have them, they do not give you any satisfaction for longer than maybe a minute, an hour, a day, maybe a week before you find something else that you think is good for you. And the cycle repeats until you do. Then is this the life you have lived? A lot of pain, struggle, the things you don't like doing in the meantime? For only some temporary moments of satisfaction in the moment when you can get your keys for the lambo or open the door of your new house or share the bed with the girl you always dreamed of then what is there you may ask what is there left because that seems to be all you want and maybe now some of the cracks reveal themselves the cracks in your lives the illusions the beliefs that aren't true but the truth is often layers deep you may got a glimpse of it. If you want to learn more about it, you may watch this video next. But that is the truth. I've been indoctrinated by Andrew T and many others, even the ones you really think highly of. Maybe it's Alex Ramosi, maybe it's Jordan Peterson, maybe it is the King of England. I'm joking, but maybe it's Marcus Aurelius, maybe it's Oprah Winfrey, maybe it's Cristiano Ronaldo, maybe it's Elon Musk. But again, some may speak truth more often than others, but virtually no one is looking for it. And you are probably not looking through this filter. So by listening to them, watching them, you are being indoctrinated, which isn't bad, just the truth. And it's not good to steer away from this, to turn the ship. This just happens to the person who's serious. And even serious isn't good, but it's a truth. Because are you serious knowing, hearing that you could be living your life in illusions, in lies, basically everywhere, but now ignoring it, there must be a reaction, not because I want to, but there must be a reaction within the serious person and to the unserious one. Again, you're not bad. Just don't come back to this channel. Don't subscribe. And to the serious person, if you are trying to find the truth in a specific situation in your life, maybe it's a negative emotion you feel or a very painful event that happened. Either way, you're looking for change or the truth, basically. But you can't seem to find it. Then no, you can always DM me on socials or email me. I won't ask for money, but only respond to serious people. That's it. Talk soon.